Good day, good day! How the honk are ya? This is your friend Dan O, and this is Roverland, the YouTube channel that's anything and everything Land Rover. Have I got a video for you today? All right, all right, all right, let's get into it. Yeah, what up Wednesday, and uh, I'm going to tell you something that I'm really super happy about this one of Wednesday, and uh, boy, I tell you, that, uh, for more than one reason, I am so tickle pink. Well, the biggest reason is uh, my girl, Angie, sent me this, or got me this for Christmas. I know Christmas has been a while ago, but that's all right. This is worth the wait, folks. This is is awesome and and she was just teasing me oh you're gonna poop your pants you're gonna poop your pants when you see this and i'm like okay whatever so i figured she would have got me something land rover you know because she kind of knows who i am you know anyway and i you know i will take any and every land rover that is ever given to me or i find you know you never know what you're gonna find when you buy a Land Rover toy. You never know. And this is a perfect example of this. This is awesome. Are you guys ready? This is it. Ba-bam! Check it out. This is awesome. Now, right away you can see that this is a, um, I don't know, dreams become true die cast Diecast replicas. Now, let me just say that I tried to do a little bit of Googling or whatnot for, you know, trying to find this, but I'm going to tell you, look at this. Yeah, this is why I can't really find too much about it because it's one of these um, China uh, companies and, um, boy, they uh, just, just, you know, you can't just Google diecast replicas and get the company that makes these. So if you guys could help me, you know, comment down below, you know, maybe over across the pond or some of our uh, um, viewers, subscribers that are in India could help me. I don't know if I have any over in China, but obviously this is a Range Rover Red, it says, and it's a special edition pullback featured yeah, so just, just awesome. Made of metal and plastic parts, detailed interior, full body painted, flashing lights. This is it. This is awesome. Yeah, so I'm sorry I can't really tell you much more about diecast replicas, but hey, come on over to Facebook over there, Roverland, and uh, show me some pictures. Comment uh, down below. If you're familiar with this brand, but this is great. It's in the package, and we're going to open it up because, yep, the little package got a little funny or whatever, but that's all right. Interesting way that they fold the cardboard, too. I, I, I don't know. I'm, I'm kind of interested in packaging and stuff like that. So let's get this open. A big, huge thanks, and I love you, Angie, out there for you. Wow. Oh, let's finish taking it apart. So it comes in this pla plastic carriage as well. So it's really well protected. And a little tab that holds it on the bumper here. And we pop that out and then it'll come right out. Look at this beauty. I just love this Range Rover. The shark gills are awesome. This is very a, a very nicely detailed Man, I wish the lighting was better or something. But uh, yeah, this is just great. Range Rover on the hood. Beautiful metallic. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And number 625 is an interesting uh, thing. Look at these beefy tires. Really kind of cool. Traditional, uh, you know, the Evoke Range Rover style tires. But just nice. This has got the lens in inserts here. So metal and plastic, the lens inserts. Look at the headlights. It's got a rear view mirror. It's got uh, lens inserts for the rear. 
Range Rover on the back. Doesn't have a complete uh, Range Rover or the Land Rover badge on it. But uh, yeah, it's awesome. A <laughs> uh, little bit interesting on the gas cap here. They painted that silver, but it's got a nice silver trim off from the gills and stuff like that. But really, look at those meaty tires. Those are kind of kind of cool there, kind of cool. But uh, let's take a look at the bottom before we get into the all exciting stuff. Uh, it's got some batteries to it. Uh, and there's that number 625. Now, I didn't have a chance to look that up. Uh, nothing's painted down below, but made in China. That's the, the key part here. And like I said, it is a rollback. And so, oh, I didn't really get the gears in, in, uh, engaged there, but watch it. Whoa, look at the speed on that. All right, well, I want to tell you about the interior, but to do that, we're going to open the doors and listen to this. Listen to this. Yeah, isn't that awesome? So it plays different tunes when you open the door. It's just it's just really cool. So uh, let's start at the front. Look at them headlights. Yeah, neat. So the hood opens. We have a nice looking V8 engine in there. Yes, some uh, silver on there and the black. Really, really kind of cool. Flip around to the back. We have... Um, a big huge tailgate if I can keep it open here a nice big huge tailgate with a uh, pretty generic looking silver interior but awesome awesome and like I say we got a left hooker and uh, just the details and stuff in here it's a two-tone seats uh, yeah not really anything on the dash per se but the uh, mid console has got some stuff Really kind of cool there. Uh, let's get around to the passenger side once more. We'll hear some more tunes. It plays a couple of different tunes to it, so that's kind of cool. Kind of neat, kind of neat. Uh, there's, um, uh, oh yeah, look at the real lights go too. So it does have door panels to them, and they're screwed right in the middle there. But hey, kind of cool. At least it has door, door in there. But look at this. But bam, the rear doors open. Yeah, check it out. And there is a gold <laughs> briefcase in the back with the two um, regular like front seats in the back. But check that out. It's got rear opening doors. I, I just, I'm just flabbergasted. I don't know if I've ever had a model and I'd have to take a look at on my whole collection that had the rear doors opening on them. So you may say, hey Dan, those that uh, watch and are uh, addicted to Roverland, you may say, Dan, hey, I remember you had some cars like that. Yeah, here, I've got another one. I did a whole uh, thing on this, uh, on this car. I've got, actually, I've got two of them and I tried these did work in the video that I did, but the batteries are dead and the other batteries that I have uh, don't seem to work. I don't know why. But anyway, this is a blue one. But uh, so I'm like, oh, okay. Uh, you know, I, I kind of remembered this when, when she gave me this one. I, I kind of remember, oh, okay, yeah, that looks familiar. I think I have one, but um, they're, they're totally different, totally different. So anyway, so let me get this one out of the way. So we'll just do a little walk around. Let's start with the back here. Um, yeah, they are totally two different models. I'm uh, you just well. This one says Vogue on it with the Land Rover badge on there. This one just uh, but look at the uh, kind of there you go. Look at the rear window. This one has got a little bit different rear defrost than this one, and there's no Range Rover on the door, and there was on this. You know, and then you open up the uh, hatch hatchbacks, <laughs> the, the rear trunk. Obviously, you can see that there are differences in the rear uh, trunk area. Uh, the the other thing I, I was showing this to her when I uh, was uh, get, getting ready to do this video. Uh, take a look. So here is the hood. See how this hood opens here? 
and then uh, take a look and see. See how the hood opens on this one? Totally different. Totally, totally different. This one doesn't have any, uh, you know, that A pillar there when you open the hood. And this one does. So it is like a totally different casting. Um, the hood, the tops are a little bit different. This one's got the media uh, fin. The other one doesn't. You know, so I, I am just... I just, look at that, it's a little bit longer. I got this sitting on the counter. The red one is a little bit longer. So somewhere along the lines, and like I say, this one, you know, the front door's open, yay, all that. But look at just the plain white interior with no rear opening doors. Got the same wheels, but the tires are different. I was mentioning the tires because I knew that would come up later. But the tires are different and actually, you know, kind of kind of bigger, you know. So it is awesome. This is just another reason why, hey, this is why Dano just loves getting any and every kind of Land Rover because you never know when you're going to get something different. You're like, oh, I already have that one. Well, if you're like me and have a couple of thousand in the collection, you can't keep them all straight. And here we go. We have got this beauty, thanks to my sweetheart. Yeah, Angie, she just got this for me for Christmas, and it's just awesome. I just, it's, yeah, it, yeah, it, it'll probably have to go and sit over by these. We'll probably tag that video so you can see that, but this is off. Do you guys know anything more about these? I mean, look at that. When's the last time you saw a model that had rear opening doors? That just blows my mind. Usually they don't do that. And and from what she said, I mean, it wasn't a very expensive model. You know, she didn't tell me, you know, his Christmas present. But, you know, it was under $20. So it's like for, you know, this extra, you know, feature, you would think that you would get more, you know, you have to pay more. But it isn't. All right, there you go. I got to get out of here. We're already at 12 minutes. Thank you for joining me today. On a one up Wednesday at Roverland. Remember, slow traffic, keep right, and have a great Rover day!